One of the really wonderful features the D300 has is the live view mode, and that is where it allows you to look right through the lens, but you're looking at the large LCD screen in the back, that incredible 920,000 pixel screen in the back. So it really is, is a wonderful feature because it allows you to put the camera over your head or down low and do you know off-angle shots like that where you're not holding it right up at eye level. That's the prime use of it. That's why you know you see it on point and shoots a lot, but, but it's really a trick to make it work on a, on a digital SLR like this in Nikon has done it. Now, they've really outdone themselves in that they give you two different modes on, on most digital SLRs that have this uh, feature. It does. It turns off the autofocus while you're using that live view mode because the autofocus is accomplished by a separate device in the camera, not the actual main sensor. So what they do here is they have two modes. One's the traditional mode of live view where you're looking through the camera, but it, it does not automatically autofocus until you press the shutter down and when it halfway. And when you do that, it releases the mirror down so you can't see. It does the autofocus using that special the special focusing mechanism, the multi-segment uh, device. Then it lets you see it again if you let your finger off the off the shutter, which we'll show you. That's called the handheld mode. And it uses the normal phase contrast uh, phase device in there, it's called the phase method, to get the focusing. The standard method, it's fast. So basically the thing would be, you'd set it in the menu, which we'll show you on handheld. And this is for your normal moving objects type of shot when you want to look through off angle down to your, your stomach or something. And you're going to basically hold the button down and at that point you're going to, you're going to um, it'll allow you to do the, it'll focus at that point, but you won't be able to see. It'll, you'll be able to see when you're not touching the shutter button. Then when you want to take the picture, you can hold the button down and then follow all the way through like you would normally take the picture. On tripod mode, it's slightly different, and that's when you're going to put it on a tripod generally for non-moving objects or stuff that's not moving much, and it uses the sort of more old-fashioned contrast method of focusing. It's a little bit slower, but it's effective. It uses the main sensor to do this, and that's the, that's called the tripod method, and that basically is where you're going to hold the button down, and it will actually autofocus while you're able to, to, to still see the image, and you'll see it do it. It's rather slow, but it, um, and, and the way we normally would do this is there's that secondary button called AF on on the back of the camera. Let's take a look at that cal on the back. And right over here, it's conveniently located because you have your hand on the grip, you're pressing the shutter. Right here is where your thumb is, and you can press that autofocus on button, and uh, basically that's when it's going to do its autofocus magic. So now I'll show you, um, we'll go ahead and go into the uh, menu here, and press that menu button, and take a look, and uh, we can see that in our shooting menu, I'm going to go down to the bottom here, live view, and go to the right on the multi-position controller. You've got two things over here. One is the release mode. If you're going to want to do single shot or continuous speed, because you can do you can do continuous low or high shooting while you're in this live view mode. I'm going to leave it on single frame, but in the live view mode, going to the right, we have handheld or we have tripod, and we'll show you first how the handheld. They, they, they do function a little differently, like I said. So when we go to handheld, we just got to hit the center of the multi uh, position controller or our OK button. And then we can go out and um, let's take a look at me shooting a, a picture over here. I'm going to just hit the uh, normal shutter button now. When I do this, um, basically as soon as I hit the uh, shutter button once, and this is in handheld mode, we'll take a look at the back of the camera, Cal, and we'll see that w our screen is actually live. I guess we can go directly into the camera. Let's take a look at the direct mode here. And I'm looking right through the camera over here. I'll look at our, our local program on it over here, getting a little of that video echo. Look at some of our uh, props on the ground here. And now, when I press the autofocus on button in the back of the camera, what happens is, momentarily, the, the mirror closes again, and it does its autofocus in the traditional phase method, the real fast method. So as soon as I let go of that AF on button, again, watch, hit it, it does its focuses, I let go, and the image comes back, and I'm ready to shoot. So what I would be doing then is, I could just go ahead and press the shutter down again. It'll, it'll stop press it once more, and then the image will come up, and you'll see it right on the screen, your finished image. So again, you press the autofocus button. Um, as soon as I press the shutter button down once, I have to depress it fully, you're able to see off the LCD. Then when I press the autofocus on button, momentarily it focuses, I release it. Now I'm ready to take my picture. I just go ahead and press the shutter button all the way through. Bam, there's the picture. So let's go to the menu again, and I'll go ahead and live view over here, and go to the right and bring it down to tripod mode and hit our OK button. And now we're in, we're in the uh, live view tripod mode. You can see the little tripod icon over there. 
And now let's take a look at me taking a shot again over here. I will go ahead and um, press the shutter button all the way down. And again, I'm looking at a live view picture. Let's take a live view out of the camera. We can see we're, we're in our live view mode over here. But what's happening now is that, that um, the camera can focus while we're looking. So what I'm doing is I'm holding down the AF on button. Let's zoom in a little bit over here. And basically, it will use the uh, contrast method to focus. And it will it will uh, lock focus on your on your item. It takes a little bit longer. When it does, you're able to take your picture. But remember that you're being able you're able to see the entire time while you're in tripod mode. Then you just go ahead and hit the shutter all the way through. Bam bam. The the uh, you'll hear the mirror go down and wham. You've got your picture. So the difference basically in the modes is that you're able to see while the camera's focusing while you press that AF on button while you're in tripod. But it's a much slower focusing. But at least it, it does focus. So there you go. You have two modes to go in, in live view. And again, these are for you know off-axis shooting, like I'm saying, up over your head, like this, where you just you can't get in that position, and you can see the screen from down there. So it's it's quite effective. You want low angle, and you you, you can't get on the ground to do it. There you go. So two very effective ways of using the, the live view in the D300. X speed high speed image processing. Incandescent, fluorescent, that sort of thing. Exposure 35, which is ideal for this kind of effect. A summer, you'd probably have to get up at 545. Yeah. Pretty easy. I'm just going to move to your uh, menu, and what you're going to want to use this for is uh, as we go up, just remember in your mind that 3200. You know, what I want to do before you go out in the field. What, as you're just one of the shots is going to be out. Mentioned. Stuff up. Out of gun. Sold 300. Huh? 